In early May 1869, the competing companies neared the north end of the Great Salt Lake and the day of completion. Company VIPs and government dignitaries traveled by private car to Promontory, while the track layers literally worked their way to the finish line, stringing the telegraph wires as they went. On the morning of May 10, 1869, under brilliant blue skies, all gathered at a recently tossed together settlement in northern Utah, and the whole country listened in for news of Promontory. The rails are almost touching at this point, and the telegraph wires are going from Promontory Summit out across the deserts, across the plains and the mountains, and they're going to the settled places, San Francisco, Sacramento, New York, Boston, Washington. And it's as if there's a gigantic electrical circuit linking the nation together for the first time in history. In every city and town in the United States, it was like there was a collective indrawn breath taken. signal flashed across the United States. A cannon faced over the Pacific and one over the Atlantic went off simultaneously, warning the world what was about to happen. Church bells and fire alarms in every city and town in the nation went off. Crowds cheered, fireworks went off, parades began, thousands of people kneeling in prayer. It was as if the entire country was suddenly linked at this moment. "'Tis finished," wrote a Union Pacific surveyor who was there that day. "'This great and mighty enterprise that spans a continent with iron and unites two oceans. "'The future is coming, and fast, too.'" 